Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of that celebrity interview. Tanya Rapley, thank you so much for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas. Hey, thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. We're going to talk about finances for millennials. What can you educate us on? So what I wanted to talk about mainly was how to break that cycle of living paycheck to paycheck and how to make sure you're getting the most out of your money. Because a lot of times we make money, but we aren't getting the most out of it, which can, it adds to living in the paycheck to paycheck cycle. Okay. Well, we know that paycheck to paycheck cycle. cycle. Mm -hmm. How can you help us break that? Yeah, it, a lot of people know it. It's all too familiar for most people and most Americans. And so one of the things that I recommend people to do is look at the ways that you are spending money in your life and look at the ways that you can cut back. A lot of us are spending money on conveniences, which are things that we could do ourselves um, instead of paying someone. And then when we save that money, we're spending it. And the goal is to save money, not to spend it or reallocate it somewhere else. So oftentimes we'll hear someone, they went to the grocery store and they saved X, Y, Z amount of money, but then they went and spent it somewhere else instead of putting that money aside into a savings account. And that savings is what's really critical for helping you break that cycle of living paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Now, is it because there's not a lot of momentum to save? And what I mean by that, you know, the Fed's just cut rates. You know, I don't know what the saving account rates are. You know, and the money grows so slowly. So is that a deterrent to, to people? Well, you know, when you save money, there's a difference between saving and investing, right? So when you're investing, you're looking to grow your money exponentially. But when you're saving, you're looking to basically be your own bailout plan. So that if something was to happen or a financial emergency was to occur, you would have that money set aside. Because without savings, then you really don't have anything until your next paycheck. And then you are living that paycheck to paycheck cycle. So I know a lot of times people say, I don't have it to, um, to save, but you really can't afford not to save. And it's really important to look for different ways that you can save and to find accounts that essentially pay you for having them, even if it's a smaller amount than, um, than what you would like on the traditional investment market. Okay, give us some tips to help people to save because saving is so hard, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it is refra it's reframing your relationship with saving. Instead of looking like I'm preventing myself from doing something I want to do, it's actually I'm enabling myself to be secure in the next financial emergency. And one of those things is asking yourself questions when you spend money, asking yourself, hey, do I need this thing? Can I afford the maintenance on this item? And does it make sense for me financially? But then also establishing those good savings habits or those good financial habits, which is automating. A lot of us, you know, we've seen automation when it comes to bill pay. We've seen automation with subscription services, such as, you know, um, streaming services and so forth. But we're not actually automating our own savings. And one of those things you could do is to look for an account that makes it easier for you to do that. Oh, I like those ideas. Now, as people look at their paychecks that are not growing, how, how can they have momentum to save? I totally agree with you, but these are just things that people are faced with. I, I definitely agree with you, and I work with thousands of people every day, and I have over the course of my career. So I definitely identify this is one of those issue areas that people are, are having, and that's why I was really excited to learn about the unlimited cashback bank account from Green.Bank because it essentially makes it easy for people to save with a 3% cashback bonus when you make online or in-app purchases with their debit card. And we know that we're buying things online and in-app, but you earn that 3% cashback bonus and that goes into a high yield savings account that pays 3% interest. And so you're saving, but you're also gaining uh, one of the largest interest or taking advantage of one of the largest interest rates in America by utilizing that account. That is 3%. That's like to say they're almost unheard of today. Yeah. I like that. It's pretty so generous. How, how could they find out more information about this 3% cash back? Because we're using our debit cards everywhere. Everywhere. You can find out about the unlimited cash back bank account at green.com. You can go on their website. It's a beautiful website with lots of information to find out how you can start making more with your money and making more use of the things that you're already buying. Well, Tanya Rapley, it sounds like you paid good attention in school. <laughs> I really appreciate you coming on the Velder BB Show. Thank you for having me. It's been my pleasure. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is my phone pouch. 
My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.